another night, another cycle. Or, I guess, technically, this would be the same night, seeing as how the cycle has just reset itself. I mean, this isn't a future version of me or an alternate version of me. This is just past me with future knowledge. I probably shouldn't be thinking about it too much, else this version of me is going to have his head explode. Oh, uh, but whatever. At least we don't have to go back to Giant's Deep for a while, so I get to actually, you know, stay nice and dry for once. Hey, you know what? Brittle Hollow seems lovely this time of night, so, eh, why not go back to it? I mean, we still need to find a way to get into the observatory. And from the looks of things, I have to go down below the surface. Thankfully, with the cycle reset, there should be much more of an undersurface for me to explore. Good old right back in his banjo, still strumming around. Alright, where is a good place to land? Don't know what that is, I probably should investigate it. What? What is that? I guess if anything is worth investigating, it's definitely that thing. Probably should land this thing on a more stable surface. Uh, this seems... Uh, actually, no, this one right here seems about good. And touchdown. Alright, let's get a move on. Your design of uh, I don't even know what to say, but this is. Mm, whatever it is, it has a power source coming from it. An identified signal. Escape pod. Distress beacon. Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we learned from it? Have we heard from Escape Pod 2 or Escape Pod 3? No, I. I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals, however, if it's any comfort, both pods are structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can. Thatch, the moon is approaching again! Everyone brace yourselves! Swiftly! The volcanic boom has returned! Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. The planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter, and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down the cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. Mm. So, that's Nomai text. This must be a, a crash Nomai escape pod. Pretty rough landing, I must say. But this thing seems to be pretty intact, too. And I'm guessing that is the moon that they were talking about. Makes sense, it's the only celestial body, body orbiting this planet. Uh, let's see if we can get the stories uh, and maybe figure out what happened to the Nomai here. It's an interesting uh, vehicle design. Definitely something that you wouldn't see on Timber Hearth. Let's see. Escape pod 1, vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Escape pod 3, launching. Escape pod 2, now launching. Escape pod 1. Alert, collision imminent. Prepare for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pocket of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy de detected. Vert. Hospitable. So this thing 
actually would scan whatever uh, surface they'd land on and would deem it either hospitable or inhospitable. Interesting. Emergency escape hatch. Uh, uh, and boop! I'm guessing these are the platforms that they were constructing. Ooh! Okay, time to go. Caution, a black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. You would think they would have built more stable structures to, you know, climb down the surface. I don't even want to know how they even got to building these things. Especially with the falling artillery from above. Interesting light designs, though. I'd love to take one back onto the ship and use it as like a nice little light source. Look at the surface, and this looks to be a settlement. This must have been like a their main settlement or one of their settlements on Brittle Hollow. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though the area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created from meteor impacts. For something that was only temporary, they really went all out for this place. Hey, wait a second. That's that signal again. Or that emblem. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No no my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything like this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round, with a circle in the center, like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. Uh, I guess I can kind of see an eye in that. I wouldn't really call it an eye shape, it's more, you know, diamond-ish. I need to be careful, it sounds like the meteors are really starting to hammer away at this place. And I'm pretty sure a section of the settlement just fell into the black hole. And from past experiences, I remember it was jettisoned all the way out to some random location out in the cosmos, so I should be really careful. You know, even though it was a settlement they built, uh, they really didn't furnish it a whole lot. Either that or just time decayed it so much. Is the hardest part of the tragedy not knowing how many we lost? Or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt Melora. That's probably the scariest thought. Both knowing did we lose a lot of people during a tragedy, or uh, who did we actually lose in the end? Right, that looks like a spot I could jump to. I just need to be super careful. All right, one, two. Understand. Why did the vessel crash in that place? We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. 
it wasn't where we tried to go. Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, Anona and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. I suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Alright. Uh, we should be good now. 
At least it has some nice warm lights in it. Ugh! Ugh! I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to this warping technology that the Nomite created. Look, we are way off course. My ship is all the way over there. I don't see a way back to it for now. Return warp core status charged. Step onto warp platform and ready. Huh. I guess Redback must have been here. The Hanning City below 550 meters. Um, I don't know about the people who construction constructed this, but I don't think I'm going to be able to fit into that tiny little hole. Well, what else do we have around here? Of course, the elevator up from the city works fine, but no, not, uh, not a way down. No, I have to probably find the hard way to get there. I'm guessing this is a depiction of the gravity lifts. I'm guessing from the city to the surface? To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's black hole. Our design worked. We successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as we know we've built works, I'm delighted. I know we could do it. Kasava, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? they were more accurate, they would violate ca casually. There must be an equipment there somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Kasava. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Ugh, that's not a fun feeling. Not a fun feeling whatsoever. Oh boy, I need to get back below the surface and fast. Grammy and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appeared to show Nomeyer arriving at the warp receiver in Brutal Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure the time in such a small degree? I've already told Raimi these measurements can't be accurate. How can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she steps into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Look, as Pai is confident the reading is inaccurate, she's kindly helped me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. The High Energy Lab is on the canyon on Ember Twins' equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding the universe. I would have to reconsider all our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Interesting. I'm definitely going to have to pay this lab a visit. Definitely would give me a good insight on the, onto these uh, teleportation devices they created. This looks to be the twin. I don't know what this thing is. Whatever it is. Mm, I don't know if I should like it, or if I should be unnerved by it. Well, I don't know who this was, but I hope they're resting peacefully. 
guessing it's probably the owner of this house. Probably the one in charge of the warp station here. And I think over there is where the South Pole for the, the lab is. Ooh. I can't find where Ryback is. The banjo's not coming in. Oh. That's because I have it tuned to the wrong frequency. There we go. Well, I 
I found the tree at least. But I can't seem to figure out where that tower got shot off to. I guess maybe I could, you know, take a look at this place. This is a very peculiar looking ruin. Oh, uh, it's so hard. I can't get a good grip on the surface of any of these structures. Uh. Southern Observatory leads that way. Well, it's going to be a little hard to get there from here. Crossroads. The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Uh, I guess call it home? Whoa! This thing made it to the quantum moon. It must be that moon that kept appearing and disappearing from time to time. I don't see a pilot in this place, so maybe there's a Nomai still alive out there. Or they could have been killed. It's always a possibility. I'm here. After watching it under the skies for so long, I'm able to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make a reminder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Just that th is true. As a child, I considered such a known sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. Guessing this Nomai right here, Solanum. Maybe they, well, they made it to the quantum moon, so maybe if I follow in their footsteps, they would know how to get there. Doing something that the Nomai kept uh, being pondered about for so long. I guess for good measure, might as well send this off on a brave new expedition. Even if this version of me expires, maybe a piece of Nomai technology can be found by another civilization out in the cosmos. Fare thee well. Take a seat and accept my fate. 